Hi everyone, it's Dorkong. It's Tuesday morning. I just finished my miracle morning routine. So today I'm going to talk about morning readings and my miracle morning routine. I'm not very proud of that, but before starting the miracle morning, I think I was a little bit away from reading. If you are already a book lover and if you have already a very developed reading habit, I think you're good. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> About my reading habit, I used to read a lot more when I was in Korea. I worked at library when I was in college. I was very close from book always and because I worked at library, I pretty much knew um, which book is where and I could just like walk around, right? So um, I really liked the space library and then I read more. But since I came to the United States, there were some problems. Number one, I was very confused whether I should read in English or in Korean. Why it was confusing is to read everything in English, my English was not very good enough. I mean, textbook was a little better, but let's say that I should read a really, I want to read a really long fiction, for example, I'll feel intimidated. Uh, to read it in English. On the other hand, to read books in Korean, the ebook was not very widely used back then. It was like 10 years ago. It's not that all the books are electronically published, so there are very limited options. I had to order the hard copy online. Uh, there is a shipping, and shipping is very expensive, and you know, there are some difficulties there, so I got to read less and less. It's a shame, but it's very true. Oof. Since I started Miracle Morning, there is a reading routine in Miracle Morning routine, so I was kind of like half forced to start reading again. I start to read the books that are not related to my major. Um, I'm gradually recovering the joy of reading, and now, you know, compared to myself two and a half years ago, I read, of course, more books, and I love reading more, and books are always around. You don't need to read much in the morning, like, I usually spend 15 minutes to 20 minutes for reading. The goal of the reading routine in the morning is to recover the joy of reading, and um, to obtain that drive for the reading. You know, once you start reading, it's interesting, so you want to read more. So it's a lot easier to read when you come home from work. But if you don't have that drive, if you don't have that joy, I am like that, but I'm very likely to just go to YouTube or Netflix and watch the TV show endlessly from there. <laughs> In the morning, anyway, I do a little bit of reading. Sometimes it's like a lot shorter because sometimes like affirmation routine got longer and I don't have enough time to read as much as I want. You know, I just have to cut it off in the middle. But because I have that drive, whenever I have spare time, I can, you know, come back to the book and read more and read as much as I want. So affirmation, for example, is um, the routine that I focus the most. Uh, meditation is the very first thing I do in the morning. I think reading is um, the routine that um, has been nourishing my life the most um, because I gained the knowledge and when I talk to people here, I always have subject and whenever they talk about something, you know, it reminds me of some books and you know, something that I read before I can make the conversation more interesting based on what I read in the morning or um, what I read with the drive that I got from the morning reading. What do I read? Uh, from the original Miracle Morning routine, there was a list of the book the author recommended. I started from there. I know that some people hate self-help book and I was one of them. I hated the idea of reading the self-help book, you know, I was always like, you know, there is no correct answer in life and, you know, self-help book always 
kind of assume that there is a correct answer and you know you should follow that and i just hated that idea but actually some books were really helpful if you are getting started i think it's a very good idea to start with the book that is related to your affirmation because you can gain the knowledge and you can kind of relate because affirmation is what you want to do what you want to achieve and you read about what other people did about that so it becomes very exciting and interesting so for example once upon a time i was really interested in improving my focus and concentration because i was like very distracted um, and i thought i could be more efficient with my time so back then i remember that a book that i was reading over and over was the deep work uh, written by car newport like that's one example well recently i am interested in learning one affirmation that i'm doing is i am capable of learning as much as i want um, anything i want in any area of my life the book that i read during my reading routine for example was ultra learning i think it was translated recently in korea and he is a very scott young is a very interesting person and i knew what he did before he did this like mit challenge and mandushin i knew um, his blog before and when he just published the book we were like we should read this book <laughs> um and also the one that i so this is a book that i'm reading how we learn why brain learns better than any machine for now you know this is the one that i got from library this week so you know things like that something related to my affirmation um it gets very interesting uh, but you can read whatever you want basically <laughs> yeah. so what do i write on my journal about reading for a while i used to write a reading note or reading review on my blog and it was quite lengthy i remember that i used to write that before going to work and it took like 40 minutes to 50 minutes to finish one essay it was just like one essay about uh, one book that I read in the morning it took a lot of time and then I kind of stopped doing that as I started a YouTube channel um, so I don't do that anymore but if you can do it that's really good because you can really apply what you read to your life and you can share that with um, other people as well and, um, what I write right now on my journal is some lessons that I learned and some quote that I liked from the book. What's really good is I think reading is good, but thinking about what I read and kind of like bring what I read into my life and apply that um, to my situation. I think I like that work. I think, for example, let's say that I'm reading um, deep work. Um, I write down some actions that I can immediately take from today and some new things that I can try and I can apply in my life and when I kind of go over my journal it reminds me of what I read what I learned so you kind of refresh your knowledge one more time so that I think is really good and it's not very long it's like this much so um, it's not very lengthy anymore for me this is nothing about morning routine but what I found really interesting is what I kind of sometimes do is after reading a book I go to my podcast app and kind of look up the title of the book and I don't care if this is a podcast that I regularly listen to or not um, if something shows up I give it a shot on the way to go to work how other people read this book and you know what they learned and how that is different from you know my experience and that is also very interesting it's kind of like semi quasi book club things what kind of book are you reading right now share your reading list with me um, and if you have any question, please let me know. I think I gotta go. I should start walking. First meeting is at 9 and it's already 7. Have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Have a great day.